Mexican lasagna. It's what's for dinner tonight. It's Taco Tuesday, and in our house, that usually means something taco adjacent. So tonight, we're having Mexican lasagna made with tortillas, some ground beef, just all the fun stuff that goes probably into a burrito, right? So I've already knocked out like the like the nitty gritty stuff, so we can just get together with making it. All right, I've got ground beef that just finished from the microwave. Yeah, because we know I cook my ground beef in the microwave, not all the time, but sometimes. So I, I couldn't find a little bottom pan, so I put it in one of my bowls here. So it doesn't matter because there we go. I mean, you'll see that gra that grease is still down there. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to pour this grease out. I'm going to pour it into a trash can. We're not pouring this down the drain, okay? Hold on just a second. We'll be right back. All right, I'm going to dump that into this bowl. We're going to use this bowl to mix. By the way, I didn't just have ground beef in there. I also had a, an onion that I diced that I put in there and cooked with the ground beef. And I seasoned this with some taco seasoning and then stuck it in the microwave and cooked my ground beef almost through. Not completely because it's getting ready to get cooked a little bit longer. All right, so we are going to, to the ground beef, we're going to add one can of refried beans. The oven's already. <laughs> Pop that open. And I'm going to stick that back in the microwave for about 30 seconds to a minute to get that softened up so I can mix all that together. While that's doing that thing, it's thing, we're going to um, open a can of diced tomatoes. I'm going to open a can of, uh, these are the, it's the diced tomatoes with the chilies. What, what is that? I forget what it's called. Rotel. This is like the Rotel. <laughs> we're going to open that. And then we're going to open one can of enchiladas, red, red enchilada sauce, enchilada sauce, however you say that. Now I'm going to drain those diced tomatoes. Let's check on those that ground beef. Perfect. It's all nice and soft. I can mix all that in there together, not intentionally throwing this all over the counter, but here we are. Now let's go ahead and dump the enchilada sauce, the diced tomatoes, and the, the rotel. <laughs> Now I'm going to take some diced garlic and add that to this as well. All right, let's get that all mixed up. And we're ready to move on to assembly. All right, one thing I forgot. Um, I had some leftover uh, queso from something last week. And I'm just going to go ahead and add that too. I, I never knew there was a such thing as a leftover queso, but here we are. Let's just add that in there. Why not? All right, get that all mixed up. So typically I would use a square foil pan. I mean, I'm using a foil pan, but I didn't have any. So I do have these uh, loaf pans that we're going we're gonna to make do. Okay, so let's go ahead and spray that down. I've got the oven preheated over there to 350 degrees. I'm going to take... My uh, quesadillas here. If I can open the bag, it's really weird that I want to open. Screw it. I'm using all of them. I don't care. I don't need the resealable at this point. Well, I may not use all of them. That's okay. That's what it's a thought bag for, right? I'm going to take these. I'm just going to cut them in half. All right. All right. So let's start out by putting just a little bit of this mixture down on the bottom. Then we're going to lay the first layer. Another mixture. Another layer. We're basically just making like a lasagna. Okay. Now, right here in the middle, we're going to take some cheese. 
you can do this on every layer. You can do this on every other, which is kind of what I'm doing. I've just got some Fiesta Mexican cheese here that I'm going to use just right there. And I'm going to put it on the top again in just a second. So let's make one more layer here. Okay. She needs to knock it off. <laughs> and top that with cheese. Now I'm just going to continue this with these other pans until I've used all my all my mix right there. I may all right. So I have made three of these pans, and for the four of us, that's really all we're gonna need. So I will take the rest of this. I'm gonna stick it in a ziploc bag, label it, and I can make this in a few weeks. I can make this again, and the filling's already made. So I'm gonna pop this in the oven. So I'm gonna pop this in the oven that I've got preheated at 350 degrees. I'm gonna cook it for about 20 minutes until it's nice and bubbly. All right, now you don't be surprised if I show up with this at the beach in a couple of weeks and we have Mexican lasagna. I'm just saying. <laughs> Look at there. Aren't they so yummy looking? Oh my gosh. Uh, we're going to top this with shredded cheese, salsa, uh, sour cream. I don't do sour cream, but they do sour cream. Um, yeah, we're just going to top it with all the kind of fun taco ish toppings that you put on there. I may even get out some more queso and pour it over the top because I do have another jar in there. I'm just saying. Uh, so there we go. Dinner served.